Hi, my name's uh, Ian Cook and from Pop Band Keller, which is a friendly explosion of Keller. And I'm an artist who creates in a crazy way of uh, using radio controlled cars, car tyres, toy car wheels. And here this evening at, uh, at Yardley School, um, in which I'm going to let the kids have a go, probably do better art with them than what I create anyway. This is one of my other pieces, a little mini. Um, and yeah, so here to, um, to let the kids have a go and see their artwork as well and kind of open the uh, the art exhibition which is really good really good to see like young creative talent um so yeah hopefully it's gonna be a nice evening and um, i'm doing that the vocal this evening is saying that that's the... hello hi there we've got a really glamorous model here <laughs> Oh no. I have to take the shoes off and the paint. Just yeah. uh, so this the pupils that are here tonight will all pass a section from that you need to work. Right, right. Okay, I'm Helen Burge, I'm Head of Art at Yardley School. To celebrate the work that Year 11 have done for their BTEC Art and Design for their Diploma course and Certificate course, they've worked very hard on the work. The project behind me is an urban identity project, so we actually took the pupils into Birmingham City Centre with loads of cameras and we asked them to photograph buildings from unusual viewpoints, so they had to get on the ground and look up, um, they had to photograph ceilings, and, um, bits of pavement and textures on buildings so that they weren't just looking at shops like they normally do when they go shopping. So it was more of uh, looking at the architectural details and, and trying to think about materials uh, that have been used in architecture so that they were looking at their surroundings but from a, a different viewpoint. Um, and then they translated the work into textiles mainly for this project. Other work includes three-dimensional work, so we've done a project on vessels. So the vessels, it wasn't just like looking at a, a, a milk bottle, we looked at the brain, we looked at the human globes, we've looked at you know, the human body, volcanoes, all sorts of things that could possibly be a vessel. So it doesn't have to be just like a normal sort of standard object that you find mm -hmm. in your home. Another piece of work we've done was a project called Layers, which is it's over there. Um, again, the, the brief was very open and free, so pupils have interpreted it in mainly in fashion format. Uh, they've used layers of paper to create dresses, um, diff many different materials. So the emphasis really is on the pupil deciding what they're going to use for their work. And that's the beauty of the BTEC course, it's very open and free. It still has to be graded in a certain way, so there are still elements that have to be fulfilled to, to pass the course. But it's, it's very much up to the individual pupil about how they present their work and, and the ideas are expected to come from them rather than give us give them, tell them what to do. Okay? Excellent. And also, the vocational part of the BTEC course is fulfilled tonight. So with Ian Cook coming in, pupils have to look at the work of other artists and if possible meet an artist and ask an artist questions and to find out about how art is produced in the real world and how do artists make money from their work. So Ian has come in tonight and he's given them a little presentation and he's briefly shown them some of his work and he's spoken about how he started to make money and how he started off the whole process of making art for a living. He's since given up his teaching job because he hasn't got time to do the art and teaching. So 
he's, he's doing so well for himself and it's a real thrill and a pleasure and a fabulous opportunity to have him here tonight with us. At the moment he's in the Assembly Hall and few, the fantastic part is that, that tonight's show is an interactive exhibition. Um, parents are here, we've got governors here, we've got members of the public here, we've got business people here, and we've got the pupils themselves all having a go at producing art in a way that they would never dreamed possible. So it's absolutely superb and it's a thrill. And thank you very much. Well done, guys. Thanks for the tea. And uh, I ran the bat first.